youth angels welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi hello my name is Jennifer welcome today we are going to do a another pick a card reading um, for messages for the next three months we are this is a timeless reading so whenever you arrive here if the messages resonate with you then this reading is for you so it doesn't have to be during the current time period, which we are currently moving into, well, we're actually in the new moon in Sagittarius with a complete solar eclipse. So it's a very powerful time right now. Um, I've been told that this, this eclipse and um, all the energies that are coming through right now, we will be working with for a, for a while, for at least the next year and a half. So the next 18 months, but this reading, um, there's going to be a lot of energy moving through the collective in our own lives and through the end of February. So right now we're, we're going to ask, um, I was guided to do a reading for the next three months that'll kind of take us through to the end of February. So in spring, we're going to shift into some new energies again. So we're going to focus today on messages from spirit about, um, what, what, wants to be called to your attention over the next three months um, kind of what's going on what's happening messages and advice for you so um, and before I get started uh, diving into too much today I want to make sure that I say a big thank you to all of you actually all of you who are here supporting this channel who are watching subscribed liking the videos it all means so much to me it really helps um, the algorithm and it helps provide these videos to more people who might need this advice or these energies or just want to join us and be part of this collective support system. So thank you so much for all of you who are here and for even if you're new and just here watching, thank you so much for being here. And thank you to those of you who have given me donations. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. And um, I, that really helps keep you know, keep things going and keeps me um, inspired and um, able to provide things on the channel that I would like to provide and buy new decks. And speaking of that, I am also so grateful. I want to be, give a big shout out to um, Deborah, who recently donated um, the Whispers of Love deck. So thank you so much, Deborah. I'm going to use this deck today to get um, advice. These are the back of the cards. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this deck, Whispers of Love by um, Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. Josephine Wall did the artwork. So we'll dive into those um, in the readings. But thank you so much, Deborah, for your donation, for buying this deck for me, for the channel. Um, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. I'm sure we're all going to enjoy it. Um, so beautiful. Thank you so much. And so I do have a wish list for decks and a donation link down below in the description box if you ever feel called. You most certainly, it is not an obligation, not something you have to do. I love doing these videos for you. I love offering this and working with all of you and connecting with all of you. But if you ever feel inspired, some people really do. Um, that is available for you in the description box as well as links to my services if you want any private readings or light language transmissions or anything like that. So let's get started. Um, thank you so much for listening to all that. And we have three piles here today. I've pre-drawn some of the cards to, to just to speed up the time and then we are going to we're gonna pull from these oracle cards and then we're going to use some tarot to dive a little deeper in and then get some messages for advice as well. So these are the three piles to choose from. And again, if you feel drawn to more than one pile or all three piles, that's totally fine too. Um, whatever you wanna do. And if it doesn't resonate with you, if a pile doesn't resonate with you, pick a different pile or um, you can always choose a different reading. I have many linked below. So, you know, this is for you, do what feels right to you, and don't ever um, try and make a reading fit for you if it doesn't feel right, okay? This is like, I really want you to enjoy this experience and to be really helpful for you. So, pile one today, we have the Selenite Heart. One of my favorites, of course. 
And then for pile two, we have the kyanite. And by the way, I let these cards charge overnight and in the moonlight, in the stars, um, and they feel really activated this morning. My cat was even up here trying to bat the <laughs> crystals around, so that usually tells me um, they're really ready to go. And so then pile number three, we have the Aqua Aura Angel. So take your time <clears throat> choosing a pile, whichever one you feel most drawn to. Um, you can pause the video now. The timestamps actually will be below in the description box as usual. So if you want to jump straight to your pile, you can go there. Um, yeah, so you can pause the video now if you like, uh, if you need a little more time to decide. And thank you so much. I'll see you in your reading. Hello there, pile one. Welcome to your reading. You chose the beautiful selenite heart. And I think we'll put that there, maybe. Yeah, we'll put that up here. So let's see what Spirit wants to talk to you about for the next three months. Um, so, first I chose from the Moonology deck. So, for you, okay, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Hallelujah, right? That's always a good one to start off with. Full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So something you've been working really hard on. And wow, North Node, step out of your comfort zone. Surrender to the divine. Full moon. Wow, this is great. And one more. One more. Oh, and then you've got a time for healing, the balsamic moon. Beautiful. So yeah, it looks like you are ready to birth into whatever you've been working on over the next three months. And with this north node here, that's about your, you're really st stepping into your purpose. And look at all this purple. Um, you know, we've got the brown with the Capricorn, the activation of the earth energy, but then all of this like vision coming to life through, um, and you know, of course you are being encouraged to step out of your comfort zone and to um, surrender to the divine. That's always a, a step out of the comfort zone. And whatever, whatever the cycle is ending here, whatever you're stepping into is going to create a time for great healing for you, that this is going to be a really healing phase. Um, so no matter what it is, that you're stepping into know that this is not just part of your you know um, path in the world but it's also going to be a big part of your healing like I sense it and this makes sense with the what we're in ast astrologically with the new moon and the solar eclipse I sense that you're really releasing some old patterns and old ways of being in the world and that's what's healing you are um, letting you know healing the basically the integration of that release you know um, bringing it all together and surrendering to this higher power into this path and purpose that you know that you're aligned with. So that's really beautiful. I feel that coming in for you. And then, um, wow, the two um, animal spirit cards from the animal spirit deck from, what is her name? Uh, Kim Kranz. You got the crow. And the buffalo. Wow. And I have to tell you, both of these animals, so I, these cards are kind of representing you, like your essence, your energy. And um, both of these cards are powerfully spiritual. And this is an air sign and this is an earth sign. So um, that might be relevant to you in the sense of... Um, your ast astrology or what you can relate to energetically earth and air um, so they're both really spiritual cards but you know in a different way with one being earth and one being air and this just like you are really wow <laughs> covering the whole spectrum here as far as psychic spiritual awareness because the crow is um, a lot about the magical 
energy of psychic power and psychic energy and uh, the psychic realms and that knowingness, that awareness in your life, that spiritual awareness. And then um, the buffalo is about like presence, deep presence. It's about being grounded and spiritual at the same time, the connection between heaven and earth with your body temple being the in-between, being the expression of those energies in this world. And, you know, I love the pink in this card because that it's, it reminds me of the heart chakra, you know, that also that there's all this love coming in with the buffalo and I'm hearing buffalo calf woman, you know, this just like earth, um, grounded, earthy, heavenly love along with this intense psychic power. So you are really stepping into your purpose and I think you know it, um, or at least you have a strong inkling because with this north node here, um, surrender to the divine and healing right next to it, I just feel like you are really stepping into your, not just, you know, I, I see you merging your physical purpose and your spiritual purpose. So coming into union with what you came here to give and having a very um, strong vision of it. Like I said, you have these two very spiritual cards that are about you know, being very spiritually connected, not just in your body, but in your mind and in your psyche. And then you have um, this all this purple for the third eye. So you are going through a major awakening. I think that you're already a fairly tuned in, if not highly tuned in spiritual person. But just know that in the next three months, you are going to really up level. You are really going to, um, if you you know, keep following your heart and surrendering to the divine and allow yourself to heal, allow yourself to step out of your comfort zone. You have these, you have this incredible guidance within you. So, you know, you're as safe as you're going to be, so to speak, I'm hearing, uh, stepping out of your comfort zone. You know, you've got your presence, you have this deep connection to your body and the earth and the spirituality within you as well as this psychic awareness. So, trust surrender to the divine and trust that you know what you're doing that the end of this hard stuff the cycle of the hard stuff is ending and you're using your vision your heart your intuitive power and your ability to surrender to really catapult you into the next phase and i'm guessing that whatever is going to be created i'm just kind of hearing is going to happen in the spring so you're using these next three months to really create the vision step out of your comfort zone surrender and catapult into whatever it is that is this new phase for you. And so we, maybe we can get it more of an idea of that um, with the tarot and through these next few cards. And oh my goodness, look at this. So I drew from Light Stars deck, um, the promise, soulmates, attraction, partnership. So it looks like, ooh, for you, pile one, you're coming into a very some sort of very powerful connection. This card is, you know, specifically it looks like about love. You can see the two people together there in the middle kissing. Um, but you know, if if a romantic love message doesn't resonate with you, then just know that this could be soulmates, um, partnership, and friendships, or other types of connections. Okay, or a deeper connection with yourself. Or if you're already in relationship, a committed relationship, I think this is referring to something deeper occurring for you. Um, yeah, like something is lighting up in your life and it's going to attract a deeper connection on all levels. And I, I believe, I'm hearing that this is something that you have been intentionally working for, <clears throat> towards whether it's um, that you've been working towards finding your soulmate or twin flame or partnership, um, or if you've just been working towards um, creating better relationships in your life. Like, you know, I know a lot of us have been having the experience of releasing old friendships and old relationships from our lives. So I think this is talking about as you're moving and in, birthing into this new cycle, new connections are coming in, powerful new connections that are going, that, and you're going to know because of this. You're going to know these people, you're gonna recognize them when they come. Um, 
yeah, I don't think you're going to miss these soulmates or this potential partnership that's coming. So for some of you, I'm hearing it's already started and you're just in this process of trusting it, of stepping out of your comfort zone and surrendering and, and allowing the healing to take place because for, for, for most of you, like whether it's romantic or not, these relationships, these soulmate attractions, because you can be very attracted to people and not in a romantic way. So these relationships that are coming in are really assisting you on your path and purpose and, and they're really helping you surrender to this and heal so the relationships that are coming in right now the connections the powerful connections that are coming in right now are healing for you and they're really going to help bring you into the next phase but i'm hearing that this surrender is crucial that you really need to allow yourself to break out of um surrender out of old patterns step out of your comfort zone do something different in these relationships than you have done before out of old patterns that is and so yeah and so I think this is related to it this this other card here we drew is forgiveness redemption rebirth regeneration redemption rebirth regeneration forgiveness so this is going to be a lot about forgiving yourself, forgiving the past, forgiving, you know, maybe even the collective or your family for certain patterns that were set up in your life and relationships. Um, I, I think this is a, really, I'm feeling it very strongly even resonating in my body right now that really like breathe in this green energy um, really let your heart chakra heal. Forgive yourself and others and move on. Step into this promise in your relationships. You know, forgive those that didn't fulfill this promise for you. It's okay. Like you can let that go and you can step into this new energy that's coming in because whatever is new and coming in for you is really aligned. With these two cards being here, you are really in the center of your alignment and your purpose. I'm really excited for you and happy for you, Pile One, because this is exactly what we need people to be doing right now. And you're doing it. And you're being rewarded by having these amazing soulmate relationships coming in. And so even, I'm feeling even for those of you where um, this is a partnership, a romantic partnership coming in, I feel like it's also talking about uh, other soulmate connections coming in. So I just feel like there is this abundance of love coming in. And I'm hearing as you embrace the forgiveness, the more you can forgive and release, the more you can receive from these new connections and from this new connection to yourself. Really beautiful. So I'm gonna draw from the fairy to row and see if we can get it, dive a little deeper into these energies, get a little more information about this. Pile one spirit. shuffle it did shuffle it earlier too but I feel like I've been doing a lot of forgiveness work as well forgiveness for myself and others so this card flipped out the hermit I don't know where to put it. We'll put it here. The hermit. Oh, and let me read it. It's number nine. So you're completing a cycle, and that's what this says. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. Yeah, and that's what this is clearly... You've clearly been in a commitment to your spiritual growth or are in a commitment to your spiritual growth and it's paying off in a big way and it looks like forgiveness is a huge piece here. And this hermit mode, I'm thinking for the next three months, 
you might still be in a little bit of this hermit mode. You're going to be working at stepping out of your comfort zone, I think, in a lot of ways, um, emotionally and mentally. And we'll see what else comes up, but I have a sense of that physically out in the world more is going to happen more in spring. So um, you might be a mentor to someone. You might be looking for a mentor, but really I feel like this is about you taking a break from society and um, really committing to your own growth and your own peace right now over the next three months. So I'm hearing that, you know, if you're feeling guilty about that, don't feel guilty about it. You know, here's your validation that it's time for you to surrender to the, to the, the sorry, <laughs> surrender to the divine and take some time for healing. So it makes sense that the hermit, that you would be in the hermit mode. And the hermit is major arcana. So this is like a, a major thing that a major part of life, a very important phase for you to embrace. Um, and we just got Prince of Autumn. So this is, okay, so we are getting some pentacles, some earth energy here. Dependable, protective, chivalrous, humorous, cautious but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, kindness to others. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. forward movement but it but it tends to be very slow and dependable which is great um building a solid ground here taking your time as i said i do think it's going to be building through this hermit card over the course of the next several months here and then the eight of autumn which is the eight of pentacles do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school, or apprenticeships. Excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. So this is about you really working on what you're building. And both of these cards are saying that cautious, slow building. You're really working on it, the hermit mode. And so, you know, since we have the hermit and the eight of pentacles here the eight of autumn uh for some of you this is very much about that you're in the process of learning something new or <clears throat> working on building you know getting the skills and things put together so that you can step out of your comfort zone and offer something <clears throat> so for some of you you are in a phase of learning and studying right now and building as this but this this um night here this prince of autumn is showing especially and with you know that there is some movement as you come out of the hermit phase um into this hard work oh and great the and then we got the wheel so this is the wheel of fortune so yeah this hard work is going to pay off in a big way um the delays are over sudden or unexpected good luck a new car or travel. So for some of you, that might be the case. A new car or um, traveling. Traveling might be a part of what you're creating here. And it's number 10. So we're, here we are with a nine of a completion of a cycle. Like I said, I feel this forward ground, forward movement, and that it's in the pentacles, the coins. So we've got all this beautiful visionary higher chakra energy but these two cards here in the middle show me that you are in fact going to bring this into the real world it's just going to be a slow and somewhat meticulous process as as you move through this hermit card also indicating that so allow yourself to just this next three months and it's perfect you know in the winter here uh well at least on this side in the northern hemisphere um for the next few months you know you're really just going to be really working on this really like let it so don't get frustrated if it's a slow build and forgive yourself forgive yourself for impatience forgive yourself for thinking it needs to be something different than what it actually is in the moment okay and so the wheel is a 10 and 10 is a cycle or a portal beginnings and endings so rebirthing through this portal i like i said i really feel that in by the end of February, as we birth into March, April, into spring, luck is on your side. This is the Wheel of Fortune. The delays are over. This is all slow moving, but it's coming to a completion. And you are going to be in alignment with your destiny. So the wheel, starting with the Hermit and then the wheel, this is this progression. You are absolutely progressing and you are grounding it into the world. 
So this is such good news for you. I feel like the Spirit is really confirming for you um, because I know sometimes the hermit phase can feel very um, frustrating or like, oh, I'm not doing anything. And these energies to this, you know, Prince of Autumn and the Eight of Autumn can feel like, you know, kind of slow movement. It, it feels good. It's grounded, but it doesn't doesn't necessarily feel like anything quick. But I, um, what I'm getting is as these energies release in the spring, this wheel is coming in and it is fate. It's karma. It's going to shift things really quickly. So all of this building, all of this surrendering and stepping out of your comfort zone and healing and forgiveness work that you're doing is going to really catapult you into your destiny i mean you are really the north node and the wheel here you're really lining up with your higher purpose with your true alignment yeah beautiful and then we have on the bottom of the deck seven of spring i'm oh, sorry the light it's early and the light keeps changing um so be assertive don't look don't back down from what you believe courageously stand up for yourself so that's great. I love that that energy is on the bottom of the deck, the seven of wands of like, you know, you have it in you. So we got some fire there too because we didn't have much fire in this reading. So at the bottom of the deck, influencing behind the scenes is this fire energy, your incredible ability to um, stand up for what you believe in and to create courageously birth whatever it is you're bringing into the world where it says step out of your comfort zone. You're going to use that that, that fire energy to do that. Really beautiful. So let's get some advice from the new deck, the Whispers of Love. Pile one, please. Spirit, what advice would you like to give? From the angels. In the fairy realm, this cards, these cards are very angelic and fairy. Ooh, just one, please. Take this. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? So we've got a theme here. Forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. So you have that twice in this reading, forgiveness. Very different looking cards too. Very different energies here. Let me look at these real quick. So let the past go, forgive yourself. The end of that cycle is ending, whatever it was, even if it's the cycle you've been in for 40 years, like that's what I'm hearing. Doesn't matter, it's ending. It's ending. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in with the karmic, the power of basically karma and fate. And it's time to let all of this go and you are perfectly prepared and ready to do that. So forgiveness is huge. And that's gonna have a lot to do with the promise here and those soulmate relationships. The more you can forgive and release the past, the more you can allow for the love and the relationships to come in that are aligned with who you are now. Because we're all, we've all been growing and changing so much, especially those of us who are on this spiritual awakening kind of path. So take, really take that to heart, that forgiveness is on the table. And it looks like um, this is a 29. So it's master number 11 or nine and two. So I feel like there are endings happening and partnerships coming into union here. And like I said, even if it's not romantic, it's some sort of very specific, oh, sorry, I said specific, very significant connection, very significant relationships. And one more card did want to come out with you, and I, so I can't resist. And wow, this is a really cool card. I love how the earth is in that little teardrop or a little raindrop at the top. So this says, treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Yes, and I actually feel like that is such a beautiful message too because I think that has a lot to do with forgiveness as well. You know, when you can forgive yourself, when you can forgive anyone, 
you it's a, it's a really deep form of love it requires a humbleness and a selflessness to forgive so really honoring the people in your life who are your soulmates who are your people who do have the promise for you of of having your ba having your back and supporting you and really helping you to shine your light because that's what you deserve and that's what you need going forward um because you know i feel like all of your guides all of the angels are really you're ready and they're ready to really support you and i love these hands around her like that i feel like that is what you're being held in right now you're being held like this by your guides and angels so that you can be supported as you step into this next really big phase of your life so know that the next three months are a lot about you doing this healing work this inner work you are going to be asked to step outside of your comfort zone i think mostly in what you're planning to do and preparing to do and letting go of old beliefs related to what is going to birth forward in the spring yeah so really beautiful you guys i'm excited for you pile one you're doing amazing work and it looks like the next three months are going to um, feel really like as I the feeling I have from this pile is very warm like when you are sitting next to a fire with a hot cup of tea or cocoa on a cold night you know that kind of warmth you know and I feel that from the hands here too and that in this process of gestation is what I'm hearing in this process of healing that you're in I see as this this drop is coming down in it looks like to me now I'm seeing this drop as like a drop of nectar um, with the earth in there so it's like these downloads are gonna come in for you as you're going through this healing process over the next several months this nectar is coming in this awakening this sweetness of life and it's got the earth in there because it's the new earth it's the sweet nectar of activations for the new earth coming to you as you're going through all of this so beautiful you guys thank you so much for being here for being a part of this community and for doing the work and just shining your light this energy is amazing thank you so much um yeah i'm wishing you the very best please comment down below if this resonates for you or um you know what you how you're feeling i love he hearing how this is related to your life if it feels if you feel called and um if this resonated with you like it please and uh what else here subscribe if you're not already subscribed if you'd like to see more of these videos so yeah it helps when you interact with the channel it helps us um keep it going and adding more people to the community so thank you so much again for being here i'm sending you so much love and I'm excited for all of you. This is so beautiful. Love and blessings to you. See you next time. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the Kyanite. I don't know if you can really see that right now, the way the light is. There. Powerful stone Kyanite. It's actually one of my favorites. So let's see. What came through for you, pile three, or pile two, sorry. Ooh, a little slip there. Maybe there's messages in pile three for you as well. Um, so I drew from the Moonology deck first, and you received, it's time to release negativity. Ooh, what a way to start. Full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Two full moons. The answers you need are coming. And, ooh, another Cancer. Or no, that's, sorry, that's something else. Um, a full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. I just saw the two blues and I was thinking they were both cancer, but that's Gemini. So wow, three full moons. 
So something is coming to a head for you. Something is coming full circle. Um, and it's time to release the negativity, Spirit's saying. It's not serving you. Uh, the answers you need are coming. And be, this, whatever this is that you're dealing with, that you're releasing, and we are going to dive deeper. But um, whatever this is that you're releasing negativity around, um, it, it is going, I feel like there's a strong message here already of like trust that the answers you need are coming and that this is going to, whatever you're worried about or concerned with, is going to reach resolution. Um, and with this full moon in Cancer, you know, it just, it's going to reach resolution in a way that's very calming and centering for you. Um, so right in the center of the reading, the answers you need are coming. So answers are coming, and there might be some that are coming through this reading today for you. But I think in general, I'm sensing in general, and you're like, lit the literal answers are coming to something you've been wondering about or worried about or whatever. Um, so, and then I drew, I drew from the Animal Spirit deck from Kim Kranz. And these are to represent you, a little bit of your energy, and not everybody's favorite card, but these are really awesome animals, actually. The vulture, air sign. Kind of fit, actually fits very well with the it's time to release negativity, because the vulture is, the energy of that animal spirit is cleaning up, right? They, they clean carcasses and things like that you know that and so when the vulture comes into the reading it's about you know really allowing spirit to help you clean away any negativity yeah any clutter any karma any negative thought patterns any old fears um, this animal spirit medicine is very very helpful and very underestimated in its power to really help not only like cleanse and clear but in that process the way that this energy cleanses and clears is that it creates um, fertility it creates a space for something beautiful to come in um, for this I think this I think this energy can help create this resolution create preparing the ground is what I'm hearing preparing the ground but you have to allow the negativity to be um, cleared and released and I think that I'm also hearing that the answers are not only coming, but the answers are here. And it's just that for some of you, to varying degrees, depending on you and your circumstances, the negativity within your mind, heart, energy field, um, or I should say around your heart, you know, the worries that are around your heart, that negativity is blocking your ability to perceive the answers that are coming or the answers that are here. But this issue is reaching resolution regardless, but just for you to have an easier process with it, um, knowing that releasing this negativity and allowing it to clear, you can ask your guides and angels for help. You can call on this animal spirit medicine to help you clear anything that is not serving you. And it's interesting too, because the vulture is like, you know, we think of carcasses, we think of dead things, like dead and rotting things. <laughs> Sorry, not to go there, but I'm, that's what I'm feeling and hearing is that there are literally things in your life, in your mind, in your belief systems, in your patterning, whatever, that are that toxic, that are rotting, that are so dead, <laughs> that they're literally in the way of something new being able to, to form there. So call in this energy, this intense clearing, to come in and clear away these things that are dead, these things that are no longer serving you, that are just hanging around in your field. And at this point, some of those things are actually even rotting. You know, they're, they're not even harmless at this point. They're hanging around in your field, creating stench, creating problems, creating bacteria. <laughs> I'm just going with what's coming through me, guys. Sorry. Um, so yeah, just... So know that. So these are, this is potent. And with Scorpio too, you know, that is, that can be a very, I love, I love Scorpio energy. I have a Scorpio ascendant. Um, but I do know that the extremes of Scorpio can be so elated and beautiful. And then also so dark and, and, um, yeah, so dark. So that's what I'm feeling. The, those darker aspects need to be cleared up because the answers you need are here and they're coming and it's time for you to release all that. And 
you're getting a lot of help with it. You're going to get as much help with it as you ask for is what I'm getting. So there are things. And some of you might even be thinking, yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that relates to me. Or I feel like there are things, but I don't know what they are or how to reach them. So I'm hearing your guides and angels are saying, ask for help. If you know there's something lingering that maybe you can't even fully wrap your mind around because it's so subconscious, then ask your ask for help. We have free will, so we have to ask. I'll remind you guys of that. I know you know that. But ask for help to release these things because it's feeling like, and I'm sorry I keep saying this over and over again, but they're really, they're pushing me. It's super, super important right now. And the next card you got representing your energy and essence over the next three months is the oyster. And this is a water. So you've got air and water. And you've got water with the cancer and air. Oh, you have water and air here too. Because you have Scorpio and cancer, which is water. And then you have Gemini, which is air. So know that these are some of the elements that are working with you. The emotion and the mind. Balancing between these two places. And so... The oyster is a really phenomenal being. Like this card represents somebody who, you know, I don't know if you can see all the little um, rainbow sparkles that are behind this oyster. So this energy is like very unassuming. Um, the oyster is very special and has the capacity to pretty much create or do anything he or she wants or they want in their life. So, um, but also has a tendency to play it small and to hide and to hide from the world and hide your gifts um, and not really see the potential you have to create. So this card is telling, all of, uh, telling us, telling you to stop hiding your light and to stop selling yourself short because you are very special and you have the ability to accomplish and create anything in your life. You have that, you have the skills, you have the personality that can make things happen and you have the special talents, but you do sell yourself short and maybe that's some of what needs cleaned up. Um, so, you know, trust in yourself, trust in this it's great to be humble, but this is this card can a lot of times be about hiding and being afraid to come out and show what you really have to offer. So I feel you're being encouraged to do that. Next I pulled from Light Stars Oracle deck. And you received three cards this in this deck too. Oh, whoops, sorry. Sanctuary. Healing and comfort. Faith, restoration. I can't remember that guide's name. That's one of her guides. It starts with an H. Harion, I think, or something like that. Anyway, he... It's cool. I think that's who that is. Anyway, sanctuary, healing, comfort, faith, restoration. So allow yourself to, I'm hearing, take the time out, of course. That, that is a theme, I think, for the collective right now. The next three months are going to be very, like I'm hearing, gestation, like a gestation period. So go into sanctuary, allow yourself the healing that you need and the time you need. But interestingly, from this card today in your reading, I'm also hearing to create, a, to create the sanctuary within you. A lot of you are in jobs or life circumstances or families where you feel like it's very hard to do this cleanup work or to step, you know, build this clean up so that you can build the courage to step out with your gifts because you feel kind of overwhelmed by the environments that you're in right now. And so Spirit's saying, create a sanctuary within you. Allow this restoration to happen within you. Know that you can create this temple and this sanctuary and it doesn't actually have to be, you know, you can be in, even in the midst of work. And when you know that you have this sanctuary within your heart is what I'm hearing, within your heart, 
Um, you can take that moment, you can take that second, even to like say you're at a desk or you know in an office setting or at a restaurant working or whatever, even if you have to go to the restroom for a minute to take this moment to yourself, but even just sitting at the desk, I'm hearing and seeing that you can put your hands on your heart, like hold your hands on your heart chakra and breathe into your heart for a moment. and really connect and that's all it takes to bring awareness to the energy of your heart and that helps expand that energy out into your field and that can be your sanctuary so no spirit is saying know that you have sanctuary within you that you are this temple but also being encouraged to take actual physical sanctuary when you have the chance to um, be by yourself to take some time alone to take some time out so that you can really allow things to heal and release and allow yourself to be able to receive these messages that wanna come in. And next we have liberation, power, fulfillment, self-attainment. Beautiful, and that card always reminds me of sovereignty too. So this is like when you come out of this oyster shell, this is, your, this is your liberation. This is who you are. You're not tucked in a little, as a little pearl in there, or maybe you are right now. And after you've cleaned some of these heavy negative energies out of the way, you're able to be liberated and burst forth and be free of whatever has been holding you back come into your power, your fulfillment, self-attainment. Whether you're male or female, I think you can embrace the energy that's being shown in this card. Wait, let me see something really quickly. Oh yeah, the light language is so cool in here. And then, so I was just being kind of drawn to how this, can you see, this looks like an infinity symbol, a little bit the way the light goes around. So you are reconnecting to your infinite nature and this is going to liberate you. This is going to set you free from the negativity. It's going to help pull you out of your shell. You've got cancer here and the oysters. So, you know, you have been in a shell, you have been hiding. Um, and it's time to allow yourself to be liberated. And the, me the messages are here. The, res the, the resolution you're looking for is here. Um, so it's through this process you set yourself free. And then you received contemplation, number seven. Silence, knowing, releasing control. Again, another message of going within. And that's Sedona, by the way. Light Star is, um, lives in Sedona. The woman who made this deck. Yeah, and then, you know, we have the Buddha there with contemplate, silence, knowing, releasing control, releasing your fears. That's part of maybe the negativity that needs cleaned up is this, you know, when we have these fears, then of course, instinctively, we want to control. So it's this sanctuary and this contemplation and this, this time of quietude and solitude that is going to really bring you into your knowing and help you release control so that you can come into liberation. So the next three months are going to be this process. And, I, and you know, three months goes very quickly. <laughs> so the next three months, this is, this is what you're going to be working on. And then come spring, there's going to be a shift. That's when these resolutions, you'll feel the resolution come and then this liberation. And then that will birth you into whatever's next. And because you've learned how to go into silence and create a sanctuary within yourself, no matter what environment you're in it, you are in, you will be more than ready to step into what's next. Knowing that you are this oyster, that you have this these special talents and gifts, and that you can I'm I'm kind of seeing and hearing like it's totally okay and beautiful if you want to climb in and out of that shell, especially as you're getting comfortable with the whole process of liberation. I mean, because you're going from a shell to this like liberated open heart is kind of a big switch. So 
you know, if it's a process and you're in and out of that shell, especially if you are a cancer, you know, I'm a cancer sun sign, I can relate to that, like going in and out of the shell. So that's okay as long as you're getting out of that shell and you're liberating yourself and you're putting yourself out there in the world with your gifts and with your light because you really can't accomplish anything you want. And I don't know if you know that, but that's a really important message that's coming through for you, whoever you are who, is li who are listening, is um, you can accomplish anything you want. We're going to pull some tarot cards from the fairy tarot. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the fairy tarot cards. Um, so we're going to ask to go... Get a little more, go a little deeper into this. Get a few more messages around what's happening here. Oh, right off the bat, nice. Wow, okay, so right off the bat, we have the Empress. The, oh, this is what you need, yes. Both of these. So you have the Empress, number three, Major Arcana. Take ta uh, time to take action. The power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. So you are the empress. This is about stepping into your abundance, your fertility, your ability to create in this world. That's, who, you know, I'm just like laughing to myself because I'm, I'm like thinking, that's who's hiding in that shell? Whether you're male or female, this empress energy is so powerful. So this is what this is all about, you coming into a place of connectedness, openness, freedom, fertility, because next we have the Queen of Spring, who is brilliant, loyal, talented, and friendly. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home life. So this is the Queen of Wands. And she is phenomenal, especially next to the Empress here. So like I said, whether you are male or female, this is a powerful energy of believing in yourself, of this, you know, Queen of Wands, it's this fire energy. Um, talented, friendly, loyal. If you're hiding in that shell, people can't see this liberated aspect of you that is the Empress and that is the Queen of Wands. Like I said, whether you're male or female, take it as it resonates because I think it's coming through as female because, you know, and we have all these full moons with this feminine energy. And yeah, I think it's just coming through as the feminine because it's time to embrace, to liberate this part of yourself, to liberate the feminine within you, whether you are a masculine being or a feminine being, it's time to liberate the fire of the feminine is what I'm hearing. The power of creation. And we got, and we received three of summer, which is the three of cups. Nice. News worth celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduations, or birth, or births. Friends you cherish. So celebrations are coming. Oh, that looks fun. Those fairies are. So as you move into this Empress energy and this Queen of Wands energy, you're going to come out of your shell and it's going to feel like not just liberation, but celebration. And I getting the sense that your people who are close to you in your life, your friends and family are going to be celebrating this expression of you. And please don't think, because I'm seeing a lot of you as even when you come out of this shell, you know, maybe you're still like not going to be that extroverted in your face kind of person. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm just talking about, or they're talking about stepping into more of who you are, shining more of your light, expressing more of yourself. The people in your life love to see you do this. And it's really going to bring you into whatever is coming next. And there's good news coming. You know, the messages are coming. Remember, the messages are coming. Um, 
and the personal issue coming to a resolution. So there's good, good things coming. And maybe it's even you that is going to be celebrating something personal, like a wedding or a birth. So if it is, congratulations. Um, beautiful. So then we received the Six of Pentacles. Look, you've got so many good energies in here. The Six of Autumn. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money. Borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. Wow. So, wow, I'm getting chills now and just such an amazing feeling throughout my body in the sense that I have this... Like you, as you let yourself go through this process and release these fears and really allow yourself to come out of your shell more, you are going to feel so powerful, so happy, so connected, so fulfilled. The people in your life, the relationships in your life are going to be very celebratory feeling. Um, there's going to be basically a, recip a reciprocity happening that I'm sensing that for some of you, you maybe never felt in your relationships before. And I mean all relationships, um, even to the relationship to yourself, like a deeper reci reciprocity of love. Yeah. And this whole experience, this whole, it will feel very liberating. So over the next three months, you are working into this. You're going to be feeling this. You're going to be feeling yourself coming more into your power. There's going to be messages, you, news you've been waiting for, answers you've been waiting for coming in. So as they come in, allow yourself to come out of your shell. Allow yourself to trust yourself that you have this power to create in your life, that you are talent, talented, you're brilliant, you're loyal, you're friendly. People love you. People love to celebrate with you. People want to share with you. And as you step, as you clean up all of these dark feelings and dark thoughts about yourself and release all of that, you'll, you will be called into this Empress energy. And I feel like it is going to happen in the spring as we have the Empress and the Queen of Spring. You're going to birth into this and through, you know, and, and the end result is this literal manifestation. So we are ending here this row with this coins card, with the pentacles, with the autumn. So the harvest, you will see all this work that you're going to do over the next three months. You are going to see it birth into reality. You're going to be feeling more fulfilled and more connected and more liberated in who you are and in what you want to do and be in this world. So know that that's what's coming for you. The answers you're seeking are coming. You're going to be released from a feeling of restriction. You've been feeling restricted. Eight of winter is the back of the deck. You have what it takes to make this happen. Absolutely, you have everything you need. So just allow yourself to do the work that needs to be done over the next few months because it is birthing you into something so beautiful. So we're gonna get some final advice from the Whispers of Love deck, the new deck that I was talking about. Thank you again to Deborah. I was so excited to receive it. Made my whole day, maybe my whole week. <laughs> it was a surprise. See, these unexpected surprises are so nice. And that's what I'm feeling for you, like especially in this area of the reading, that um, towards the end of these three months, maybe like sometime in February, maybe January, you'll be receiving the answers you're looking for, maybe sooner for some of you. Um, and you're going to feel just better, better about your life, about where you're going. But the key to this is your work in this is to um, release the negativity and to step out of your comfort zone, your fears, your shell, essentially. Uh, express yourself a little bit more. Um, be willing to take that risk. Be a little bit more vulnerable. That will bring you into your Empress energy. You'll be surprised. I'm hearing you'll be surprised at how powerful you can stand in your light, creativity, and truth. Okay, messages 
for pile two. I almost said pile three again, so you guys, I really do wonder. For some of you, I think there are messages in pile three as well. What wants to come through for pile two, Spirit? Oops, there we go. Right in my lap. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. That's a nice reminder. So love is all around you. It's all around you. I see that in that three of summer and um, six of autumn. And yeah, it's all around you. It's just about you liberating yourself from these heavy energies that have been kind of holding you back. Practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. And I believe that has to do with um, yourself as well. Practice compassion with yourself. See your life and your process from a new perspective. Know that it's this simple to just literally call on your guides and angels to help you release the negativity and fears. Um, and practice this compassion. Remember that love is all around you at all times. And have patience. Love is patient. Love is kind. Always. And I do sense that, that this path that you're on is, is going to require a little bit of patience over the next few months. But the, it will be well worth the rewards it will be well worth it um and this card wanted to come out it's like a fourth one i don't know you guys are getting a lot of <laughs> whispers of love cards and this came out in pile one as well forgiveness and i just feel like it since it came out it wanted to be acknowledged and i, I because i feel like it might have to do with the some of the negativity that you're cleaning up so have can practice compassion and have forgiveness for yourself for others for your past Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. All right, pile two. I think those are all the messages that wanted to come through for you today. Again, these are for over the next three months um, through to the end of February, pretty much beginning of March. So I'm really feeling like spirit has your back and I'm wishing you the very best. Uh, please let me know in the comments below how this works out for you or if this resonates with you or what your feelings are. I always love to hear. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you would like to, if you're not already and you would like to receive um, to notifications um, when I'm putting out new readings or new light language transmissions, new videos. So it does help support the channel and support me and my work, and it helps others find the readings when they need them. So thank you so much for being here, for all your support, for all you do. I'm wishing you the very best and so many blessings for this journey over the next three months. It looks and feels so beautiful. Much love and many blessings to you. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. You chose the Aqua Aura Angel. So I wonder if I can stand her up, maybe against the little ball. No, there. Okay, so let's see what spirit chose for you today. Like I said, I pre-shuffled these Oracle cards and then um, we'll do some Tarot. Oh live shuffle those as well as your advice cards. So first I'm choosing from the Moonology deck. These are the overall energies you're gonna be working with for the next three months. We have emotions are running high. What a way to start. Super moon. So maybe you're feeling that, that you're, the emotions are running high and um, let's see what else we've got here. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. Scoot that over because I've got four of these. And then, <laughs> boy, the energy is gaining momentum. 
waxing moon. This pile already feels very different than the other two. Um, and then we have take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Yeah, really, take time to breathe out. Cause there, oh see, I thought she might not stand. Um, oh my goodness, because look at all of this. It looks like you're being, with the full moon in Taurus here, there's that grounding energy coming in. Um, the emotions are running really high. There's a lot of momentum happening in your life. So stay practical, stay grounded. I know sometimes it can really lift you off your feet. <laughs> and um, also taking time to breathe out, you know, take time to exhale. It seems like there's a lot moving and a lot happening for you guys right now. So let's see, oh wow. Oh, okay, so these are, <laughs> sorry, being so dramatic. These are your animal cards that came out. I'm gonna start with this one. So these are representing kind of your essence over the next three months, where you're at energetically. And this is the unicorn. These cards are from the Animal Spirit deck by Kim Kranz. And I love, she did the Wild Unknown Tarot too. I love her artwork and her energy and her decks. So this is the unicorn, it's one of my favorite cards. You, I, you actually got both of my favorite, two of my favorite cards in this deck. I can't really say that. <laughs> As I say it, I just pictured like six more. But no, this is definitely one of my favorites. And you guys know how much I love unicorns. But this is a spirit card in this, in this deck. It's, the animal spirit cards are, um, Earth, air, water, fire, and then spirit. And this is part of the spirit collection. So this is, you are in a very high state, in a very spiritual state. Uh, the unicorn card for me talks about being very unique person with very unique gifts. And also to believe in your dreams, to really uh, question what's possible and what's real and what's not is kind of the phase you're in which makes sense with the, your dreams need a practical plan. But I don't think that is in a limiting kind of way. The unicorn energy, so in the book she talk, with this card, she talks about how, you know, as soon as you think about a unicorn, it asks, it creates a situation in your mind of openness. Because as soon as you think about a unicorn, the first thing that kind of comes in, even if it's subconsciously, is are they real? Is that real? Um, or are they, you know, or is that a fantasy? Like the idea of the world in between, the spirit realm comes into our mind when we think of unicorns. Um, it, even, it asks us to question these things. And then with the unicorn having the horn, the horn is symbolic of a, a set, an ascended sixth chakra. So the unicorn being a spirit animal, a spirit element, is really connecting with the third eye chakra in your vision. So that makes sense with everything that is happening here, that you're really going to need to stay in your vision and to stay in that place where you believe in the unseen, where you have faith in the unseen, where you believe in magic in a way. So even though you're being asked to have a practical plan, it's not a limited plan. It's a practical plan related to this magic that you're, created, that you're creating in your life, related to this vision that's coming into fruition for you. And the second card you got is also, that you received, is also a spirit card. And this is the golden egg. And this card is also about uniqueness and it represents the heart chakra and coming into oneness with the heart chakra and acting from that place. So the essence of where you are at in the midst of all this powerful energy is that you are deep in your spiritual self. You are connected to your heart chakra and your third eye chakra. So you are in your heart and in your vision 
staying in these two places, balancing between the sixth and the fourth, between the heart and the mind, staying balanced in those two places, but balanced in spirit, you know, staying grounded in the energy of spirit in a way, the energy of your heart and the energy of spirit is actually going to give you, help you create a practical plan, a practical plan. That's what I'm hearing. And next I chose from Light Stars deck and you received, oh yes, celestial assistance, angelic messages, guidance, enlightenment. Look at all the spiritual energy coming through for you, pile three. You are really doing some powerful work and I know, I feel like you are in the midst of like serious upgrades right now. You might even be feeling, you're either, uh, you might be vacillating back and forth between um, a feeling of almost mania and then exhaustion. You know, a back and forth, back and forth kind of thing. And as you stay in these energies of balancing the sixth chakra and the heart chakra, that will help asking for celestial assistance, knowing that there is guidance and messages coming through for you in a big way right now. And actually this message came through with pile two also is this reminder that we need to ask for help, that we need to ask for assistance when we need it. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like things are moving so fast, that you are changing so quickly that your life is, or, or whatever is happening for you is just happening so quickly. Um, actually, put it down here. Then ask for assistance and you will receive guidance. You are receiving guidance. And when you take this time to breathe out also, you will receive more guidance. And the messages will be more clear. Stay in your heart. I really, I'm getting, I try not to do this, but I'm getting really called to read the golden egg one. It's like pulled on me like three times. So usually once I hear the third pull to do something, I, ha I, I know I need to do it. So it's not long, but the golden egg message is, oh, that's why, because I had forgotten this, this piece. I love this. This card, this golden egg represents what's referred to as the unstruck chord or the unstruck sound. It's the message at the center of the heart. So it's a message of the center of the heart, which connects you to the center of the universe. And then you have this celestial assistance coming through with Metatron's cube here. Amazing. You guys might've seen that before in the corner there. Archangel Metatron. So this says, within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard, nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga nidra or meditation. If you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. When the, or go for a walk, I always say that too. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart, staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long, long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. The subtle essence of the golden egg is nestled deep within the heart chakra of the fourth chakra. This chakra called Anahata is the home of the self or soul by bringing the mind into this center, we discover a portal to the most intimate and luminous space. It is said our inner guide sits there in deep meditation waiting for us. Anahata translates to the unstruck sound. Yeah, I'm really glad I read that. That feels potent and per really powerful for you to know. With all of this powerful energy moving, Take this time to go within for stillness, to listen to these messages that want to come through. 
it, you are within this magical realm. The unicorn to me is this magical frequency, this magical realm. And the super moon, your emotions are high. There's a lot of momentum. So this golden egg is also relevant to this take time to breathe out. Huh, interesting. And then you've got third eye portal. Vision, clairvoyance and clarity. Confusion. So, of course, the opposite of confusion is that vision and clairvoyance and clarity. So if you've been in confusion, if this super moon, this high emotional energy that's coming in, this momentum that's moving through your life and transforming things so quickly, allow it to open your vision and bring you clarity. Ask for assistance. Take the time for stillness to go deep into your heart. And that will pull you out of this overwhelm and this confusion. Ice Queen, yeah, again, introspection. And there's another unicorn. Introspection, self-analysis, fortitude. So over the next three months, as the energies move really quick, quickly in your life and really powerfully, know that you're the balance to that, the practical plan, the balance to that, is going to be introspection, meditation, contemplation, silence in the heart, you know, taking the time for silence, stillness. Not easy to do when things are moving fast, but I feel like that's why these messages are coming through for you. It's an, it's an opportunity Spirit is sharing with you to remind you that the balance for all this magic and beauty, fast-paced, high emotional stuff that's coming in, the way to ground it is to take the time to yourself and to ask for messages. I'm also seeing and hearing that you can journal if you're not already journaling. Um, that will help you as well because really this vision is a huge part of what's developing through all of this. Is by the time the spring is here, there is going to be a new vision. It's going to be crystal clear by then. You're in the process. I feel like right now, maybe for a lot of you, the, the movement, or at least within the next three months, the movement might feel, the emotions might be so high and the movement might feel so fast that it's hard to get clarity. So trust this process and trust that as everything is speeding up, the way that you balance that, know that you're in a magical process, that you are in this unicorn, you are in the unicorn realm. And I love that there's a unicorn in this card too, because the unicorns are angelic. Uh, and they really are powerful guardians and protectors. And they really hold the vision of the new earth. So they're, they're really, your guides and angels in this, in this unicorn energy is going to really help you open your third eye and your heart chakra to whatever is coming for you of this higher frequency aspect of whatever your life is looking like as we move into the new earth. Whatever vision you're holding, whatever we're cre you're creating is, I think that over the next three months, it's going to be a lot about you balancing taking time to allow this vision to actually happen. Look at all the purple here that's been coming up, purple and blue, um, and the heart chakra, the greens in here, and then we know this is the heart. So, and the gold and the gold, the crown chakra, you're doing a lot of powerful work. So I'm hearing to focus on crown, heart, and third eye. And by time spring comes, you know, be working with your throat chakra as well, because I think by the time these three month period ends, you're going to have cultivated, um, you're gonna have balanced all of this fast moving energy and all this emotional stuff, balanced it with your vision and with a practical plan. And the throat chakra is not just about speaking your truth, it's about expression in the world. So see, to me, this take time to breathe out card being in somewhat of the future position of this spread um, with this really blue chakra, heart, or sorry, throat chakra, is telling me that you, all of this vision and cultivation of emotions and um, plans that are happening over the next three months, you're going to be able to bring all of that into expression as we birth through these new energies. Like I said, these influences are going on for, for at least a year, but there's gonna be kind of a dramatic energetic shift come spring. So, 
we're going to look into the fairy tarot. Tarot. I keep saying it wrong. Sorry. Um, to for more answers, or, or to give a little more in depth, I guess um, description messages want to come through. Three of Autumn. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Being compensated for your creative talents. Three of Wands, Three of Autumn. And Four of Autumn, we have a progression here. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate. So this is the four of pentacles or the four of coins. So, I'm sorry, the four of, not pentacles. Yeah, uh, I said three of wands at first. I meant three of pentacles, I'm sorry. Three of coins, but maybe that's relevant. There's a three of wand energy in here perhaps as well. Um, so that means a little bit of, um, the energy of fire, which makes sense with all these emotions being activated in such a big way. So anyway, three, that's just a little extra message that came through. Three of coins, three of pentacles, building into something new, literally building and creating in your life. And then the four of pentacles. So um, as you're building into this, you know, knowing that you are you are holding, you know, you're not being, um, what's the word? You're not being indulgent with your finances through this process. You, I feel like there is like a gestation that's happening through these next three months where you're really creating a vision. And I think part of creating that vision is that you're starting to build it in the real world and you're starting to become aware of what that is going to take from you resource wise. So, you know, the coins are traditionally talking about money, but I feel like it also has to do with your personal resources. Um, yeah, let me just shuffle these again because it's too, too many. So I ha it feels it has to do with your personal resources, um, that you're starting to get a vision of, of what you need. That's what I'm hearing. You're starting to get a really clear vision through the next three months of what it's going to take for you to step forward into this next phase. You're, you're building. You're building in your vision. You're also building financially is what this is what is telling me or building in the physical world. So maybe you're, you're taking actual physical steps and it's three, four, so you're in progression. And then we have the Queen of Winter, which is the Queen of Swords. She's, whether you're a male or female, strong, patient, self-sufficient, funny. <laughs> so let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. So yeah, sometimes the queen of swords can be a, an, a single person, but it doesn't have to be. Um, so those just kind of list several things that could be happening here. And I feel like this really has to do with let go of things that no longer serve you. And, you know, to know that you are, there's something in here about you being good with words. And, you know, I just got called to the blue in this card and the blue in this card. Again, I remember how I said moving into something of the throat chakra opening more self-expression, more self -ex coming into more self-expression. So maybe some of you are writers or you're going to do something related to that, um, giving more of your your um, personality to the world in some form, in content maybe. So, and, and then the Queen of Swords is really good. She's really good with words, but she also doesn't mince words from what I can tell. That she is very intelligent and good with her words, but she also isn't gonna put, put up with anything and she's going to tell it like it is. She's gonna release the things with that sword She's gonna cut away what does not serve her and she is going to allow what does serve her to come in and she's strong and she's patient. So very self-sufficient. So she has the ability to cut out what doesn't serve and then be patient to see what develops. And this four of pentacles is also about patience to me. It's about building slowly, building with deliberation, with intent. So you have all of this incredible spiritual energy behind 
what's coming through in the tarot for you. So, and then finally, you, a great last card to receive here is the Magician. Number one, Major Arcana. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. Yeah, the Magician is about creating your reality. You can create anything. You have the power. And I love that in this deck, he's got the little... To me, those it's like the... The wand here that he has is very angelic to me. It looks like the DNA structure loop, but it to me that's an angelic symbol. So you have the power to create this success in your life and, that, and your guides and angels are with you, supporting you 110%. And it's so interesting because I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of career success in this. So for some of you, that's a big thing, but there is what I love about this is there is so much spiritual energy behind what you're creating in the world, behind all of this intelligence and building. So you're building, like, so you can see these cards are on top, and so what's behind it is all this powerful emotion and powerful creativity and vision and spiritual vision. So, and then with the magician marking this, like, outcome future spot, it's a one, you know, you're birthing into this new beginning. You're really going to bring something forth into the world. And if you're wondering if it's going to be successful, I would say chances are really good. <laughs> I would say as long as you don't falter and you do the work, absolutely going to be success successful. You are the magician after all. And, you know, it just looks like, it feels like, like I... I feel such a positive energy from this pile. Like it feels so fresh and clean and abundant. Like literally like a spring day full of flowers kind of feeling. Um, even this winter card. This is a queen of winter and it looks wintry. But she has this like big sun on the front of the sleigh. Yeah, so I'm just feeling this powerful warmth and light even from the wintry cards. So we're going to ask from, for some final advice from the Messages of Love deck, the new deck that I received from Deborah. So excited about this. So grateful. Really made my day, week, possibly even month. <laughs> I'm easy. I'm, I'm like maybe relatively easy to please, but no, it just really means the world to me. Um, that these readings mean something to you guys. So, thank you. Let's see what we got. Ooh, be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. So, uh, what I'm getting from this is you're going to need a lot of time to yourself and a lot of time in retreat um and you're going to be building things you know possibly with other people although i'm not seeing a lot of that here but i i think that what i'm getting from this for whatever reason is that um you know remember to be supportive of the people in your life like remember remember to remind people that you care over the next three months. I feel like this is just a little nudge from spirit of saying you're going to be kind of caught up in the overwhelm of all this spiritual energy coming in, all of these ideas and downloads and all the work that it's taking, the time that it's taking. So this is just a little reminder, especially if you have family in your life, like partner or children, um, well, anyone really, f close friends, you know, anyone that is used to you being more available to them, I feel like over the next several months, you might not be as available as you usually are. So you might need to make an extra effort to remind yourself to be supportive. And even if it's just a quick phone call of like, hey, I am thinking about you. I'm in the midst of all of this right now. You know, I'm building, I'm, I'm, I'm creating right now or I, you know whatever it is you're doing so just like reaching out and remembering to touch base with those people in your life that matter um, because I do feel like you're going to get pulled into your own little world here for the next three months and um, know that that's okay I also feel like your guides and angels are supporting you 
that they are being very supportive of you in this process. So know that as well. And then you received, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. So again, this, this one is also making me feel that same kind of feeling that the Be Supportive card did is like, you're just gonna be really caught up in your own world and in your own stuff over the next several months. So um, remember the importance of the people in your life who love you and remember, um, yeah, that the only thing that's real is love. So when things get overwhelming, if things get stressful, this is all that matters. And that this is the energy, I also am feeling that this is the energy that's propelling you forward. There's such a strong, like I said, spiritual essence, the third chakra the and the heart chakra coming together into oneness through all this powerful emotion. And emotion really, really creates, like in our world, um, emotion is a huge manifester. So you're really gonna be feeling all this spiritual energy and all of this emotion. And so, you know, remembering that no matter what anything looks like at any time, the whole motivation behind all of this is love. That whatever you're creating, whatever you're birthing, whatever you're building is being built in support of the universe, in support of you, in support of love, in support of the new earth, because that Love is the only thing that is real. So stay focused on that. When all the overwhelm, all the confusion, when you go inward, when you take that time inward, focus immediately back on love. And there's Gaia right in the middle of this tree of life. So go back to your roots, go back to your heart center, the unstruck sound within you and listen to that sound of love, that, that sound that resonates from source. That is what will help bring you back into balance and into center and help you be step into this magician energy so you can cre really create what it is that you are manifesting in this world. And I am excited for you and excited for whatever that may be because it feels incredible and it feels really spirit-led and really heart-led. And I am in deep gratitude for you, for the work you're doing, and for all that you're manifesting, and for, you know, the that you're here listening with me, that you're here with me now. It just really means so much. Thank you so much. And um, if this video resonated with you, like it if you like it. Um, please leave comments below if you'd like to share your experience, if the, how this resonated with you, or if you want to come back and you know, if it occurs to you later. Um, yeah, I just love hearing your experiences. So feel free to comment. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe. We'd love to have you be a part of this journey and part of this community. And I'm sending you so much love. I'm very excited um, to see where you're at in three months with all of this. And I'm sending you so much love and wishing you the very best. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Love and blessings.